Here we are with 14 5, lot 34. Uh, this would be another one of these white claw loudmouths. Uh, you know, really deep litter here with lots of different, uh, you know, kind of types and kinds. But I think this one here, uh, this one here just exemplifies kind of balance. This one here is a shapely gilt that's, uh, you know, I would call adequate in her bone work. She's certainly not the gaudiest bone one in the world, but she's an attractive gilt that from the side certainly catches your eye in terms of her head and her neck. She's so feminine about her head and neck. She's very square coming right at you. Her feet and toes are very very good uh, one that uh, I think has a really good upside she's got a feminine underline one that uh, I think this one uh, will mature very very nice and should be a good feeding one down the road uh, one that's uh, kind of one of those no holes kind of guilt but does have just a shot of extra shape uh, you know one that I think uh, should make a very very nice female here in 14-5 uh, their mother would be a full sib to the champion at the Fort Worth uh, in 18 and then the champion reserve at Dixie in 18 there as well uh, that Sal family would go back to the mother of the Copenhaver guilt there in 21 at Team Purebred Junior National and Guyers Barra reserve at NJSA in 19 or in 21 there so awesome Sal family here great great guild here that uh, you know I think has a good very very easy good feeding window this is 14-5 lot 34